I'm jumping in before the video starts because I forgot to mention, and I want to make sure you guys see it. I'll put it at the end again, but I want to put it in right now. Uh, before picture, um, not at my highest weight. I had lost, like, I think 19 pounds by that weight. It was the first day that I did regular carnivore back in uh, on November 17, 2016. For a year, a little bit more than a year before that, I had done just regular um, low carb and I had lost like 19 pounds. And again, my highest weight that I ever saw was 338 pounds. So that's the weight that I started at um, for this journey that I'm thrown into simply because of the way that I eat. So I believe in the picture you're about to see, I was 319. And uh, it, it's in my car. And I don't have like full body pictures at my highest weight because I just was always doing videos and they were always like, you know, chest up or whatever. But look at the before and then look at the after. And it's funny that you'll see more of the car seat behind me because that 100 pounds or not quite in that picture um, just takes up the whole seat. I just don't even remember being that size. I just don't because... I think in my head I was in disbelief and also I wasn't going anywhere so it didn't really matter to me I guess I just didn't pay attention I mean I must have known right I must have <laughs> I was wearing stretchy pants and just my big calf tans that I was making that would fit me but anyway I just wanted to show you an almost before and an after and I think you will notice the difference And now I have lost my first 10 pounds after my 100 pounds. I don't know if I said that in the upcoming video. I just went on a tangent, you know? And so anyway, um, I've lost 110 pounds now at, at, at this point. And I'm just going to keep going. All right, just go watch this whacked video that I just recorded. Hi, everyone. It's me, Darlene. You can tell by the thumbnail that I am here with a weight loss update. Those of you who follow me know that not too long ago, I reached a goal of losing 100 pounds, and I'm still continuing. And I told you in that video that I would update every time I lost an additional 10 pounds. And so that is what I'm here to do. So the 100 pounds was on April 8. This is 2023. And um, now today is May 15, 2023. And so it's just a little over five weeks, five weeks and two days, I think. And I, I lost 10 pounds. And let me explain to you how that got lost. It took me three weeks to lose three pounds. Now, do remember, I don't try to lose weight. And for those of you who don't even know what I'm talking about, I'm going to have a playlist in the, in the uh, description of this video and on the end screen about my high fat carnivore journey that I'm currently doing. I'll also put the playlist for when I started carnivore way back in November 2016. I'm looking at my notes. I'll put that playlist down below too. And um, I, I, I don't even want anybody to go see those old videos. I was so over the top animated in those days. I don't know what was up with me, but and, and I was obviously huge and um, but anyway hey look it is what it, it was right I mean that that was me that was me then this is me now so if you want to go watch some of those old videos you can it'll get you caught up um, over these years you know as to what I've been doing eating carnivore and now high fat carnivore and I'm not here to really discuss that I'm just here to give this update and uh, where was I I think I was letting you know that it took me three weeks uh, to lose three pounds and and then I gained a pound and I was like geez this is gonna take forever I I still have eight pounds to lose but um, so I stayed off the scale and then I weighed myself two weeks later and it was gone that additional eight pounds was gone so I said ah, okay that's right I have to remember this is how it works it I just eat whatever 
amount of meat I want and animal fat. In my case, I, I choose butter. My meat of choice is beef, but I do eat other meats. Um, I have to just remember, no matter how much I eat, um, I'm going to lose weight. And also, on the days that I don't eat much, because I just don't have any appetite, so I just eat just my butter, that doesn't mean I'm going to lose weight. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's just over time, I'm going to keep fucking losing weight. And that's it. <laughs> and I am. And that's why I'm putting it out there. Uh, with the confidence that I have because I am 100% confident that high fat carnivore is not going to let me down because when you can eat as much as you want and then uh, you know have days that you don't pay much attention but you say oh I, I need the calories because I'm going dancing tonight so you still eat all those butter calories um, it, it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm losing weight it's the fact that it's healing certain things specifically I believe my thyroid just mental health and just, uh, you know, I have so much more energy. Just everything is just awesome. And again, I, I'm not here to promote my way of eating. I was just here to give you an update. So I ended up losing 10 pounds and I'm going to be like right in tune to losing 10 more. I like the 10 pound mini goals because they're not coming too, you know, too often. It's not like it's going to be in two weeks. I'm going to have lost another 10 pounds. It's nothing like that. So it gives me some content to keep you guys up to date because I know there's so many of you who are now addicted to watching this and I know some of you are watching because you just want to see if I fail. I'll take your views too. I'm not failing at this. There, there is no failure, first of all. Uh, any amount of weight I lose, uh, I will be happy with because... Um, it's just, you know, it's just a bonus. And it's just, to me, a side effect of the way I'm eating. A very, very good side effect. But the big side effects for me, you know, no cravings, no food addiction, no madness. Uh, just, uh, it's so peaceful. I'm just so free. And I know so many of you think it's so restricting, but it's not. Uh, you don't know how much I love that I have, uh, a couple of really awesome things to choose from here uh, meat meat and animal fat and that's really all I need and I'm going to say this now because people don't understand having a million things that you can possibly eat and then just being happy with eating beef and butter right or even before high fat carnivore I was eating a lot of meat you can't wrap your head around that because uh, you don't know too many people who have said, fuck this shit, I need something different, and I'm doing this and only this, and my life will be free from all of that. I look at all of that in the food world as poison, toxic, everything. Uh, the, the beef that I'm eating, I look at that as uh, uh, that I'm so thrilled that I have such an option that I can live the rest of my life on, and uh, that it will you know, take care of my body uh, as, as, for as long as my body needs to be taken care of, and then I'm free. I'm just free from all of that other shit. So like I said, not everyone knows someone like me in their life, um, or even online, that is, uh, you know, claiming to be a person who suffered greatly with food addiction, and if you don't want to call it an addiction, call it, I don't know, whatever, just a... Uh, um, an uncontrollable urge to fucking eat all the time and know deep down inside you were not meant to be doing that and then you you lose you know your mind thinking what is wrong with me I'm intelligent and I, I, I work and I know how to do so many things I'm so successful at so many things but I can't fucking conquer this shit and it's because of, of the food for me at least toxic I need, I need animal, animal products only in my life, okay? So now let's think of it this way, and I have personal experience with this too. Alcoholics, right? Would you ever say to an alcoholic, don't you just at least have a cup of wine every now and then? How can you not drink booze? A lot of people don't drink booze, and a lot of people have a, a major problem with booze. I did. And it took me forever to get out of that. And how did I do it? By saying, all of this I can't have. So I have to think of, you know, what else I can drink. And when I stopped drinking, I couldn't drink things. And I still don't. I still don't. It just became a habit. 
It was too tempting for me to even drink things like soda because booze went in fucking soda. Uh, fruit drinks, uh, fruit juice, uh, yeah, that fucking pineapple or orange juice, whatever it needed. It needed something clear in there. I needed some Bacardi or some rum. I mean, I vodka, vodka, my fave. All those other things that I could drink, that an alcoholic is allowed to drink, uh, were triggers for me. So I was happy to be away from everything except I couldn't even drink milk for years at the beginning because uh, Kahlua, Kahlua belonged in milk or coffee brandy. But I, I, I can do a little bit of milk now. That doesn't bother me anymore. Um, so I drank water, just water. I never was a vodka and water type girl, so it didn't trigger me. And so I know, I know I talk about this often, but I want people to make the connection when you have a problem, I had a big problem with alcohol, big, okay? When you have a problem that you know is going to kill you, you make drastic changes. And if you can find that change that brings you to freedom from the fucked up mess you were with, and in my case, booze and food, you never see that as um, being punished in some way by not eating the piece of cake that somebody offered you. You, you don't. Just like if uh, somebody offers me a, a glass of orange juice with some ice. There's ice in there. I'm going to want vodka in that. Even today, I'll, I'll remember looking at that, that glass of orange juice and saying, boy, that would be good if there was vodka in there. So I stay away from all of that. Um, I don't drink any soda. I don't even drink seltzer anymore. There was a time, you guys saw me not long ago, while I'm here in Mississippi, that I was buying 12 packs of seltzer. When I went to High Fat Carnivore, even the desire to have something carbonated left, left my body. And that's cool because I don't, I don't have to buy seltzer now, so I drink just water. Okay, I just want to com make the comparison. So when you tell somebody, how can you do that? That, that's how. Life or death, I chose life, <laughs> okay? Just like I chose life the day that I dumped uh, a beer in the sink, you know? Because my husband was being told he needed to quit drinking or he was losing his job. And my brother, who I was on the phone with at the time, explaining this to him, um, he says, are you, are you still drinking? Are you drinking right now? I said, yeah. He goes, w I said, I have a beer. He goes, dump the beer. You can't expect your husband to succeed if you're going to still be drinking. And I was like, yeah, that's right. Now, all of a sudden, I had somebody else to do it for. So I dumped out that beer, and that was um, life-changing for me. My husband died from drinking, but I didn't, right? I stayed sober. He couldn't. He couldn't ever get sober. Not fully. He tried. But yeah, I could smell it on him when he would come in. Anyway, so see what I'm saying? Uh, life or death, I would be dead with him, dead with my brother, dead with an aunt that I had that died very young from drinking. So, um, and food would have killed me too. Probably had a stroke by now, even though all you guys thought I was going to die within two years. Uh, some of you way sooner because of changing to the way I'm eating. I would be dead if I hadn't changed my life. Um... You know, eating the way I was eating, eating plants. It's not even that I was always, like, just pigging out. I tried everything. You guys know that. I know you've tried everything. And you're still fucked up in your head because you're like, why? Why can't I have control, self-control? Why, why can't I have good willpower? It's because you can't. You can't. Those things don't exist. They're not going to help you. They're only going to continue to make you fail and feel like a fucking piece of shit. You need to change your life in another way uh, in, in just, uh, you know, finding something. Trying, trying what I'm trying. So many of you say, oh, I'd love to try that, but I can't because of this. I, I don't give a shit what you can't, why you can't. Just fucking try it. And don't wait until after the holiday or your birthday or whatever. Just try it right now. Right now. I mean it. Don't come to my comments and say you'll try later. I'm going to start deleting all that shit because it just 
other people read that and they think, so oh, see, it's not just me, so there's nothing wrong with me. No, there's something wrong with anyone who doesn't want to save their own life. Unless you just don't. And I don't care. I don't care if you save your life or not. You know what I mean? I wanted to save my life. So if you are to that point of desperation where you need to have your life saved, it's worth starting immediately. And I'm not going to let anybody in the comments anymore say, I'll start later. No, that gives people the wrong message. I don't want anybody to say, um, I'll start adding meat. No, th don't add meat and still have a fucking banana. That, that's, that defeats the whole purpose of carnivore. You know, I know I'm sounding mean, but I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated that there are people who just won't let themselves take the chance. Jump in, try it, do it. It changed my life in so many ways. And you guys know it. You're witnessing it. Those of you who said I'd be dead in two years, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I, I think I even look healthier, right? Don't you think? And my brain is healthier too. Okay, I'm going to stop now because so many of you are unsubscribing. I will be back with this kind of video and I'll still be giving you fucking shit if you don't pay attention. Um, I'll be doing it again in the next 10 pounds. No clue when that will be, but it will be. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.